So someone left a comment on one of my videos, a question asking about some advice, asking about some direction that he was given by an FTO. So I thought I'd ask you. I thought I'd enlist your expertise. See, I understand the thought behind the advice, and on its face, it's, um, it's okay. I mean, I get the purpose behind it. I just don't agree with the method, the execution, the application. And that's where you come in. I need you to help me help him. Yeah. All right, yeah. Hey, yeah. Uh, yeah. So here's the scenario, the situation. Following a confrontation with a member of the inmate population, an officer, an FTO, instructs his trainee, his rookie, to go have a one on one, a face to face, with the inmate that they were just arguing with. His advice was to have that rookie follow the inmate back to his cell and ask him what his quote unquote fucking problem was. To be fair, I'm not sure he didn't say it like, go talk to him and see what his fucking problem is. Or you need to go ask him what his fucking problem is. So here's where you come in. What would you have done? What have you done in this situation? Let me know in the comments below. Do you agree with immediately chasing down the inmate and asking that inmate what his problem is? Because I don't. I mean, I sort of don't, but I sort of do. See, I believe that you should have a follow-up conversation with the inmate, off stage, away from his peers, when things settle down a bit. Because I believe at the root of every issue, every conflict, is miscommunication. What I don't endorse, what I can't get behind, is the manner in which this back and forth was going to be carried out. I have been in this situation several times, and I always approach it the same way. I inquire about the inmate's day, not what the problem is. I reference their previous behavior if applicable. I bring up our past interactions if they've been pleasant. And I pry, I ask the inmate, why are you so upset? I ask them what led to this out of character outburst that put us at odds. Sometimes it's nothing. Sometimes that individual is just being an asshole. But sometimes, most times, more often than not, I found that there is an incendiary event, a trigger that made him act out. Could have been a bad phone call or some bad news from home, or maybe, just maybe, the inmate feels like he needs to give staff a hard time just to fit in, to save face, to find his place inside the unit. There may be and usually is something bigger, something more pressing that is weighing on the inmate. And once you establish that, once you know the why, once you know the cause, you can start to work towards a solution. You want an example? Too bad, I'm gonna give you one. <laughs> it goes a little something like this. Hit it! Hey inmate number 8675309, what's your fucking problem? I don't have a problem, you got a problem. Oh yeah, I'll give you a problem. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. And this dance usually continues until one party lures the other party into partaking in some sort of physical violence. Or they just stand there and flip their jibs until the officer gets tired, pissed off, frustrated, and slams the door shut. In my opinion, and again, I'm not your training department, this approach accomplishes nothing. What would you do, Mr. YouTube Correctional Content Creator? Well, I'm glad you asked. I wouldn't do anything because I'd make my rookie do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Look, I would wait a few minutes. Take a second to breathe to allow everyone involved to calm down, including me. And then I would make my approach. I would say something like, hey man, or Mr. Smith, or bud, or brother, depending on the history I have with this person. I would say, hey man, what happened? And then they usually replay the argument that just happened. But I follow up, I say, now what happened today? What's going on? You seem upset. L a little more so than usual. They still may be a little reluctant to talk, but I play off of their response. You just seem like something is a little off or maybe, maybe it's been bothering you today. Did you have a phone, bad phone call? I mean, is, is court coming up? Is everything okay outside at, at home? I use my voice, my body language to lower the temperature, to try and get to the root of the ruckus. So I start the interaction as unconfrontational. Is that even a word? Probably not, but who cares? So I start the conversation as unconfrontational as possible because the goal is to resolve the situation peacefully, right? Right. As an officer, you set the tone. 
and you have the responsibility to try to gain compliance without violence. You can yell and scream and be as aggressive as you want, but you'll catch more flies with honey than you will with vinegar, meaning you'll get a much better response if you communicate in a respectful and reasonable manner than you would if you're being an asshole. Plus, talking crazy, talking out the side of your neck, being disrespectful just because you want to be disrespectful can get somebody hurt or maybe even killed. If you like this video, if you found value in this video, straight punch that little like icon. Leave a comment and share this content with anyone and everyone that you think may be interested. Subscribe and click that little bell so you're notified every time I release another video. If you're looking for more correctional content, head on over to my Facebook page. I'll post the link in the description below so you know where to go. All right, guys, that's all I got. Until next time, be smart, stay safe, stay sane, and we'll talk soon. Hey, 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 yeah. Ay, ay, yo, yo, ay, 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 uh, yo, 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 let's go. I, feel like I gotta stay hydrated here. I got a new sticker uh, from Blue Help. Great organization. Fantastic organization. Bluehelp.org, you should check it out. Fantastic sticker on my hydro flask. Kss, 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 kss. Mm. I guess you don't have to tip it. Is that good product placement or what? No, seriously, check out Blue Help, bluehelp.org. They're doing fantastic things for law enforcement, correctional officers to bring awareness to mental health and the suicide crisis in corrections and law enforcement. Check them out, bluehelp.org. We'll see you next time.